What's going on, Hotspur News here? Welcome back to another fan cam. I'm joined by Newcastle fan Adam and uh, obviously finished Newcastle 2, Tottenham 2. Um, big points dropped for us, but obviously a big point for Newcastle um, in their relegation battle. So, Adam, what were your thoughts on that? Well, of course, thank you for having me on to begin with. But, um, yeah, I mean, to both ends of the table, they obviously uh, you know, benefit from this. Uh, in terms of the castle point of view, though, I didn't expect anything from this game. You know, Tottenham... Yes, I've had a few inconsistent results this season, but most of the time, you know, they're, they're always going to beat a team like Newcastle. But I don't know, today they were just really off it. Uh, Newcastle we had a really bad lineup, but I thought we played really well. I thought at times we could have actually scored an hour goal. Like, I thought getting forward, they looked really good. But hmm. from a top point of view, I don't know, like, they just seem to be off it today, but I'm very happy with that point. Yeah, um, then again, I think, um, especially your first goal, and to us, I think both goals were defensive errors. Um, hmm. Especially, uh, obviously, um, Joel Linton's goal came from just us giving the ball away, and and obviously our equaliser came from some confusion between uh, the Bravka and who was it? Craft was it? Uh, I think it was. Yeah, I actually didn't see the top and goals. Like, I was just watching like the highlights back, really. But uh, all right, yeah, yeah. yeah but, um, I didn't watch the game. Didn't matter how bad we played, pal. But uh, yeah. Now, um, defensively, yeah, both teams were really bad for the goals. <clears throat> yeah. Um, well, obviously, um, obviously Spurs still enough at half time. Just Harry Kane doing what he does. But um, then again, um, in in the second half, um, I thought, to be honest, like I think if you had Callum Wilson back, especially because especially in the second half, like, I think some of the chances that Joel Linton missed, for example, the second half, the one when he took it down and fired it wide. Yeah. Like I think if you had um, Maximan for the for the full ninety minutes and Callum Wilson. I don't know. Maybe you could have won the game, but um, but hundred percent, hundred percent, you deserved at least something from the game today. And um, and um, obviously, like it's another step towards uh, survival for you lot. But um, um, I say like, um, but obviously going back to the lineups, like I was looking at them, and um, especially I was looking at some Newcastle fan reactions to life, and they were really disappointed. Um, I guess especially with Callum Wilson being. Left out the score completely, and um, and obviously, and obviously, five at the back, and it's kind of, well, I guess, from a Spurs perspective, it's kind of mad that um, it's kind of mad Newcastle had five at the back, and you had twenty-two shots against mm -hmm. us. <laughs> yeah, twenty-two shots, five at the back, and no Wilson or Maximan, and yes, yes, um, yeah, it's a pretty amazing stat. But um, then again, um, I thought your midfield was pretty good. Obviously, John Joe Shelby, I thought he was. I thought we had a pretty solid game, and um, yeah. So, um, uh, yes, yeah, so like in your opinion, like who do you think like cause cause Spurs like the biggest problems like overall throughout the whole game? Well, obviously you were talking about Julian before missing chances. I thought he had a really good game. Uh, you, both the goals came from him. You know, second goal Matt Ritchie put in, you know, headed backwards and eventually at the dual with it. But uh, no, uh, obviously, you know, he's a player that struggled a lot. I think he scored, what, four goals in like 60 matches in the Premier League. It's absolutely shocking for a £40 million player. But no, nah, that is definitely, without a doubt, the best game he's had for the Castle today. He was really good, Joe Layton. But uh, yeah. yeah, I thought Longstaff was really good. Sean Longstaff, he played a number 10 goal. I thought he was really good at control and passing. You know, he was constantly getting the team forward. Considering, mm. you know, we played five in the back, we, we were really getting a lot of chances. They said 22 shots, but... I remember last thing I played Tottenham, of course, and we got that somehow got that draw. But uh, I remember it was yeah. completely opposite in that game. You know, Tottenham dominated throughout the full match. So I expect the fact we went defensive today. But even though we went defensive, we still didn't just let Tottenham come towards. We actually went for the game. And uh, mm. if we do that every single week, we can come, we stay up. Well, that's a problem. We, we don't do that consistently. And uh, yeah, who knows how we go against uh, Bernie next mm. week? But in terms of today, though, a really good uh, attacking performance. Mm. Yeah, I was going to ask about your survival and. Uh, I like the position we were manager of because, in my opinion, like in my opinion, uh, in my opinion, like looking at your squad, I think you have like some really good players like Almiron. Of course, um, I think Almiron causes quite a few problems down the wing. Same as Sam Maximan, Cannon Wilson been good this season for you. Um, I guess John Joe Shelby's been alright. I think um, I think Murphy is, um, is a pretty decent defender. Obviously, Debravka and Carl Darlow, two great keepers. I guess looking at your squads, like it looks like a team who deserves to be much higher than where they are. Like it's a team who's capable of finishing much higher than seventeenth. For me, like, what are your opinions on like Bruce and the whole like Mike Ashley board situation right now? 
Well, in terms of like Ashes, it seems they've been, you know, he's, he's, he doesn't care about the club, he doesn't invest enough in the club, and he's just a terrible owner. But in terms of Steve Bruce, he's absolutely shocking. For me, he's the worst manager in the castle of my lifetime. He is appalling, he is just awful. I am. Mm. The, the players don't get more of him, Steve Bruce, you know, like like you said, you know, you look at the teams around this way, you look at teams like Fulham, you look at teams like Burnley, like on paper, right? yet not based on form, on paper, you really think they have better squads in the castle. I mean, the castle, right? For example, we've got Relegate, like, he plays like the same maximum Callum Wilson in the championship. I mean, it's crazy, but mm. now uh, I think the team on paper right, is around the mid table team. But the reason why we know any other down to the manager because he just doesn't motivate the players, his tactics are terrible. He doesn't know his mm. best team and he's just tactically inept. It's as simple as that. Uh, Steve Bruce is an awful manager, and unfortunately, mm. he's probably going to be stuck for him for a while. Mm. Uh, I guess obviously, like the top four races, where's the um. Obviously, like the relegation race is really tight at the minute. Obviously, obviously Fulham losing to Villa today. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so obviously you're getting a point to us. Obviously, uh, obviously uh, United are playing Brighton at the minute. Um, I think that's kind of nil-nil. But um, obviously, I think there's seven, eight games to go. Do you see Newcastle staying up? Yes. Uh, I've said this all season long. Uh, I might be stolen, but I'm not going to change your minds. Um... Oh, I know last week when we lost the Brighton, well, two weeks ago, so uh, we lost three, and they were absolutely shocking against Brighton. But yeah, listen, it's one game, you know, it's a 30 year game season. Yes, Newcastle won two in the last 21, but we're still above the relegation zone. People have got to remember that. But mm. uh, I mean, for them, they just struggle to pick up points. I think they're playing good foot, uh, football for them. I just don't think the team's good enough. I think mm. Scott Potter's done a really good job with that team, but it's it's one of them where they haven't invested enough, the team's not good enough, and uh. Yes, you know, they may pick up some more points this season, but I think Newcastle get the job done. It'll be a disgrace if we didn't. But in terms yeah. of Fulham, though, I respect them for keeping us in it. But for me, they're, they're not going to be good enough to stay up. Hmm. Yeah, to round off, who was your um, who was your man of the match for today's for today's game? Uh, well, obviously, you round up early off uh, during that. For me, it has to be him. Um, he led both the goals, you know. Um, hmm. Yes, you can see our players work well, but defensively, it was shocking. And obviously, you had a look at the attacker for the man of the match. And for me... Sure, it's no brainer. Uh, he scored the first goal and he didn't get the assist for the second one, but his uh, head uh, eventually worked up with Joe Wedick. So for me, it was a bit massive impact. I wish he scored the other chance because then he would have had a, a, a almost flawless game. But yeah. no, I was really happy with him, so I think he does deserve my other match. But yeah, yeah for, for me, I, I would give Joe Wedick that. Yeah. All right, anyways, people, it's been the Hot Swear News. Tottenham, sorry, uh, sorry, 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 Newcastle 2. Tottenham 2, um, obviously big result for Newcastle um, towards their relegation um, battle. Hopefully they stay up. Um, obviously, in terms of a Spurs perspective, big points dropped. But uh, but for Spurs, we move on to Man United next week. Um, big game, that one. Uh, anyways, anyways, cheers, Adam, for coming on. Um, uh, let us know if you want... Yes, yeah, so and let us know if you want uh, more like, opposition fan cams, like, I guess, like an opposition perspective. But anyways, people, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.